Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today guys where we do have plenty of important topics to discuss because I'm going to be addressing the concerns that we are hearing surrounding registering our brand new signings at Barca. So we're going to be talking all about that situation and of course the Jean Gamba Trophy. Barca will be facing off against Pumas, the Mexican side at the Camp Now on Sunday. We're going to be talking all about the game to come and plenty more. So let's get to it. But if we do indeed get straight to those concerns about the registration of the new signings, because there have been so many, honestly guys, countless articles, posts on social media, all sort of clickbait stuff surrounding Barca's financial situation, surrounding Barca registering their new signings. All of this stuff is all designed to cause panic and basically cloud Barca's summer in negativity. Now, why is this happening, you may ask? Well, it's partly because all these people who create the posts and the articles in the first place, they know that's going to cause a huge amount of interest. They're going to get lots of traffic going towards that. And also because, apart from Barca fans, it seems like every fan in world football right now is praying on our downfall. These rival fans sit around all day long, hoping, praying, not worrying about their own club, not worrying about their own transfer window, but they are so focused on what Barca are doing, and they pray for bad news. They are desperately hoping that our perfect summer won't work out that way. That somehow something will go wrong to prevent us from adding the players that we brought in to our squad. But I'm sorry. I'm really sorry to all of those people to burst your bubble. Because I can tell you now, Barca will register their signings. There is not one tiny piece of doubt in my mind about that. Barca will get their players registered it will happen. Because Juan Laporta and Mattia Almani, the entire Barcelona board, they have meticulously planned this summer. They have been working towards this summer since they arrived back at the club. They've been slowly building, they've been mapping everything out, every single base has been covered. And you can't fault them for what they've done since they came in, and especially this summer, for me, they have earned our trust. They have earned the right for us as fans to say, you know what? We back you. We trust you to get this done. And I believe they will. There is no doubt at all about that, even though, you know, we know La Liga, they are incredibly difficult to deal with. Many people say, well, Premier League clubs aren't having problems registering their signs. Well, maybe that's because the Premier League doesn't have a wage cap. The Premier League doesn't have financial restrictions like La Liga. So comparing the two, I mean, that just shows how clueless you must be. Because you know what La Liga are like, if there's any way at all that they can knock Barca back, that they can say, actually, we need more money, this is not quite enough, we need a bit more on your side, you know, with Javier Tebas, they're going to do that. But that is exactly what the board have planned for. They know La Liga, they know how it works, and that is why every single eventuality has been planned for. Which is why Juan Laporta admitted yesterday there is another lever if needed, if it has to be done, it can be done, and that basically there is selling the remaining 24.5% of Barca Studios, because the plan with Barca Studios was always to actually sell there nearly half of it. That was approved by the members, and so far we've only sold 24.5%, so it only makes sense there that if we need to, we can still sell the remaining amount, and of course, we still left BLM, which for me was the most lucrative of all of these ventures. BLM, Barca Licensing and Merchandising, Barca decided they didn't need to use that. We are in the position whereby we didn't need to activate that lever. So Barca already have a sale lined up for that remaining 24.5%, and if needed, it will be done. And Barca, trust me guys, they have signed these players, they have a plan. The first game, of course, is next weekend. By that time, these players will be registered. So please stay calm. I know that it's difficult. I know that it can be scary, panicky, but we've got to stick together on this. I have never known a summer whereby everybody else 
They hate us. They are preying, like I say, on our downfall. But that's why we can't let that break us. We can't let them rip us apart. We have to stand tall. We have to stand together. Because they want us to fail. Because they're scared of what we can do. They are concerned about the players that we brought in. But they're going to be there. They are going to be in that team for the first La Liga game. And when it happens, I'm sure we will see why every single other club are so petrified. But of course, guys, aside from all of that, we do still have a game tomorrow. It is the final preseason game. And I think the Joan Gamper Trophy, it always feels like for me a bit more than a preseason game. This is always just getting ready now for that brand new season. Barca up against the Mexican side Pumas. And I'm really excited for this one. It should be a really good feeling, a really good atmosphere inside of the stadium. I hope, I really do hope, that we get a good attendance in there. Start the season off now in the right way. Start the season with lots of excitement. Start building that momentum nice and early and I just wonder here looking at this team and looking at the squad here that Xavi has selected for this game Jules Kunde is in there he could make his Barca debut Robert Lewandowski his Barca debut at the camp now there is so many exciting players at his disposal and what that means is when it comes to the lineup it's anyone's guess and that is how it should be you know as a top level coach with all of these options you shouldn't be able to guess it completely you shouldn't be able to know what is coming and the question that I would ask you guys heading into Sunday's game is how many of the brand new signings would you have in your starting lineup for this game so we have now Jules Gunde we have of course Andreas Christensen very impressive in pre-season as was Franck Kessier in midfield you've got Rafinha out in the wider areas and of course Lewandowski could this be the game for him to get his very first Barcelona goal I would also keep very close eye personally on that right back area is it going to be Serginho Dest or are we going to see a row out there again or maybe even something completely different could we see a three at the back system now we have Kunde to go with Araujo to go with Christensen may we see something different from Xavi those are all the kind of things that we're going to be looking out for these are the very final preparations now before that new season really gets underway it should be exciting and hopefully Barca can send out Another stern statement. I will, of course, see you guys after the game on Sunday for all of the reaction. Hopefully, it has been an absolutely fantastic occasion. I'll look forward to that. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Firstly, on the registering of the players. Please do, like I say, guys, stay nice and calm. We can do this. We have this covered. And let me know what your starting lineup would be heading into the Joan Gamba Trophy. Enjoy the game. And let's continue to get excited about this new season. I will see you soon. And I thank you as always for watching, for getting involved, and for all of your support. Absolutely incredible, guys. I'll see you soon. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca. Uh -huh.